Good morning, YouTube. Ah, out at the Mississippi Ponderosa, and we've got a new addition to the family. John Deere S130. It's a handy little tractor. This was the original one I bought about two and a half, three years ago when we first started coming out here. Craftsman, got a 40, 24 inch, 24 inch, 24 horsepower uh, Kohler engine in it. With a 45, 54 inch cutting deck, and she's been a good tractor. But uh, right now, it's uh, not working. Engine locked up. Got oil. Just decided to quit working. I think I got my $300 worth out of it, though. Belt keeps coming off. I know that's a deck adjustment problem, but not worried about that. The. Uh, one of the spindles on the other side of your car is kind of cocked to the side. That needs to be replaced. So, last time we were up here and I was trying to cut the upper 20 right here. Couldn't get it going. Made a couple of passes and that was it. She died. So, we moved over to the John Deere S130. And Millie took it on its maiden voyage around here yesterday cut a bunch of this she cut up on top of the hill and yesterday evening big and I cut the, the lower 40 uh, show you what that looks like and uh, it was it was nice we got it cut tractor so the lower 40 what we call it probably about 10 acres uh, tractor's really nice to ride on. One of the things that I do like about it, see the Craftsman, got these vents right here. They point back at you, so all the air from the engine blows in your face. This one, you got one vent on top of the hood. Points forward. You don't have to worry about the hot air blowing in your face. So it's a wonderful, wonderful thing. Got a little spot up on top of the hill we got to cut. Be the last thing we need to cut before we start packing up the head out. We bring y'all up with me. We'll cut that. It's a, a slalom course through some oak trees. So it'll be interesting. So be back with y'all in a little bit. Cool. Okay, so that's that. All right, so got this top part cut. Um, I think what I might do is might take you off for a ride. We'll go down one of the, the trails and then head back and I'll kind of maybe do a little bit of a tour of the property for y'all so y'all can see what's, what's going on around here. All right, be back with you in a sec. All right, we're about to go down one of the trails. Um, keep your eyes open. I have seen rabbits before. Um, quite possibly could jump a deer. Who knows? Uh, I've not jumped a deer on this trail before, but I have jumped a rabbit before, so see what we can find.
it was right about here one day Brian and I were coming down the main driveway and there was this beautiful gray fox sitting right here uh, on this, in this spot. It was uh, really impressive. It was a beautiful, beautiful animal. Love seeing it. All right, let's keep going. Right, let's take a ride down and just kind of show y'all some of the property. Okay, well, this is going up the hill, leading out off the property. Got a couple of some sites, some uh, not sites, some cedar trees over here. This particular area up here where we just went through the trail that was the guy that owned the property before us actually used to take and till this up and he had a huge garden up here that's why it's kind of bumpy especially uh, in, in the back there because it's still remnants of the roads <laughs> back there and of course the shabbin Mississippi Fonda Rose's place. And then back here we actually have some trails that lead back into the woods. I'm not going down them on the tractor because there's so many blackberry brambles just cutting around here you get you get tore up. And we go by back there in the four by four, but it's uh it's just way, way too nasty back there with the brambles and all that. I'm not going to fight. And there are plenty of rabbits that hang out all up in here. You see them a lot of times in the evening, sometimes early in the morning. That's one of the, the trails that go back into the back. But again, I'm not not going down that way. Too many blackberry bushes. And then this is the gate going to the people, the people next door of their property. And then to look at the hill from the back and uh, look at everything from the back corner of what we call a low 40. It's probably about, I don't know, 10 acres, five, 8 acres, something like that. Um, but nice piece of property you can see over here. Millie has her blueberry bushes. Behind it, those are the Catawba worm trees, and then we have uh, some peach trees and uh, Japanese plum, as well as fig trees back here, sweet gum, some uh, mulberry, not mulberry, um, muscadine grapes, and then that big clump that you see behind uh, the Catawba worm trees, that was our ill faded attempt at gardening because we're not here that often uh, to be able to co totally garden. The peach tree is vicious. It ate me up yesterday. I got a big score on my arm. I'll show you that later. But think about it. Um, but all in all, not a bad place to kick back and relax and uh, Especially when you can get the grandkids out here, they, they love running around playing. You can just turn them loose and not have to worry about them. Um, they're all, you know, sub four or sub five. Oh, no, actually, I got one is five. So five and below. Um, but they're, you can just let them roll and they, they just love it. They love playing. Uh, come out here and do whatever they want to do. All right, set back up.
All right, so to sum things up, this tractor, um, so far I love it. Um, it's a lot quieter than that one because it does have a smaller motor. I think it has a 20 horsepower motor, whether that was a 24 or 26. Can't remember offhand, but either way, um, this is a, definitely is quieter. Uh, of course, it's new. That one may have a hole in the muffler. I don't know. I didn't check it out, uh, but it handles well. It, it turns really, really tight. Um, of course, that was a bigger mower, so not going to turn quite as tight, but it's, um, I'm happy with it. Um, I don't think you go wrong with this, this mower. They have another one that's under this, a 110, but it has a smaller motor in it, and for as high as the grass gets here, uh, that's why we use, you know, we, we wanted one with a with bigger motor. Really wouldn't want a bigger tractor, but they, uh, they get kind of expensive kind of quick. So um, this is what we could, we could afford. This is what we dealt with. And uh, it's been fabulous so far. Uh, if you're wondering why I have this picked up, uh, it's because we got to get so close in on some of the things that I needed the guard to be out the way. Plus when the grass is really tall, if that guard is down, it shoots down, it just piles it up in big clumps. If you got it picked up, it actually shoots it out in a, in a spray. So it's a lot better. All right, well, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And we will see you next time. Bye.